Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel for our final episode on the arithmetic key stage two SATs year six arithmetic paper. Um, this is the last episode of the series. Thank you for joining us for the other five videos. Um, sorry, six videos. This is video seven. And this video is all about the bid mass questions that come up. Now, bid mass is basically when you want the children to solve a question, but there is a particular order in which it needs to be done. OK, so bid mass essentially stands for brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So if there is anything in brackets, we do that first. Indices means to the power of. So things like square numbers cube numbers, things like that, division, and then you do your division, you do your multiplication, you do addition, and you do your subtraction. As long as the children do it in that order, they should get the question correct. So looking at this question, which part of the question do you think that we need to do first? Well, according to our bid mass, we're not going to do the addition first, because that's actually the penultimate thing you would do. So we're actually going to do the division first. So we're going to do 4 divided by 2. OK, which is two. And then I'm going to do the addition. So I'm going to do six, add two. OK, now six, add two is eight. So the correct answer for this question was eight. Now, I mean, that's not a tricky question. It was actually one of the last questions on last year's paper. But if they would have done six, add two, six, divide, add six, add four, which is ten, and divided that by two and got five, that would have been wrong. So that's why it's important for them to know this bid mass and the order in which these questions need to be done. There's only actually one question, bid mass question on last year's paper. So what I've done is I've gone back to the 2017 paper and the other previous papers and found a couple of other bid mass questions because it's likely to come up on the 2023 paper. So once again, brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Here we're going to do what? this part first we're going to so we're going to do the sum within the brackets first because that's the b for for bid mass okay so 36 divided by 6 is going to be 6 and then the only other part that i have to do is the addition so i'm going to do 50 and add that to the 6 which makes 56 so that would be our correct answer for that question 56 okay and the next question is 6 squared plus 10. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this one is because you have got some indices, indices to the power of, so squared are cube numbers. So addition is the penultimate thing we should be doing. So we're going to do this part first, and we're going to do 6 squared. So that's 6 times 6, which equals 36. And then we're going to do the addition part. So we're going to add 10 to the 36 which gives us 46, and 46 would be our final answer. And remember to ask your child to write the answer in the box or remind them to do so, because if they do all the working out, all the hard work, and they don't write their answer in the box, there's a chance they might not get the mark. Okay, so that's really important. So bid mass questions, not a question that comes up very often, but there'll be at least one question that will involve bid mass on the arithmetic paper. So it's a good idea for the children to know how to do it because it's a very simple thing to understand. The maths itself is not difficult, but if they do it in the wrong order, it's likely they will get the wrong answer. OK, I hope you've enjoyed the last few episodes on the channel. Um, thank you to all those people who already subscribed. We really appreciate your support. And for anybody who's not subscribed, as we run up to the SATs, we'll be doing more videos on the reasoning and on the grammar. Um, so keep, please, if, you, if you're interested, please subscribe to the channel. And um, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much.